Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a guide to normal and heroic difficulty Harjitan in the Tomb of Sargeras. He's a big old Naga brute with some sweet conch shell pauldrons, and he's got his own army of murloc fanboys to like his tweets and demolish his enemies. The running theme in this fight is to avoid picking up extra stacks of drenched by doing mechanics correctly. That basically boils down to good positioning, a little awareness, and killing adds as soon as you can. Drenched puts a dot on you and makes you take more damage from pretty much everything. Too many of those and you'll stress out your healers until they decide that maybe they're just better off without you. When Harjitan reaches full energy, he'll cast Unchecked Rage. Almost the entire raid needs to be stacked for this to help soak the damage. Unless you have somewhere else to be, stack with the group on his butt at all times. When he's topping up and about to blow, tanks should face him towards the group for the Unchecked Rage cast. Jagged Abrasion is the tank swap mechanic. Take 4-5 to five stacks, then switch and let your stacks drop off. Whoever doesn't have the boss should be picking up Murloc Wavemenders as they spawn to keep them away from the group. Razorjaw Wavemenders sound like they'd heal, but bizarrely enough, that's not their cup of tea. They will try and cast Watery Splash to build Drenched on their target, which should be kicked if possible. They'll also cast Aqueous Burst on random non-tanks. That needs to be taken to the edge of the room and away from your friends before it explodes and leave a puddle. The puddle applies Drenched, so you really don't want those getting dropped in the group. Razorjaw Gladiators are fixate adds. They'll choose somebody and then chase them with Driven Assault. Whoever is picked needs to kite that ad out of the group and stay ahead of it. As long as the Gladiator doesn't catch you, he won't use his splashy cleave or dripping blade, so just play keep away. At the end of his cast, he'll cast it again on a new target and somebody else gets to kite. If he gets in the group and starts splashy cleaving, you're going to have a whole mess of drenched over everybody, so it's very important that people realize when they're being chased and go run. Harjitan will periodically cast Draw In, which is going to give you some Nithendra flashbacks from Emerald Nightmare. He stops what he's doing and pulls all the puddles in towards him, with each one giving him a frigid blow stack. The raid needs to dodge those puddles on their way in to avoid picking up extra stacks of drenched. When he's finished drawing in, he's going to bust out some frigid blows. During frigid blows, you want to spread out along the edges of the room while he shakes off all his stacks. Pretend that he's a wet dog and you're letting him shake off before you go in for pets. Puddles will come down, and you want to dodge those and continue standing at the edges to keep the center of the room puddle free. When he's done clearing his stacks, he'll do some damage, clear everyone's drenched, and it's back to business. And that's the whole fight! This encounter is exactly the same mechanically on normal and heroic, with the only difference being the damage and health numbers. On LFR, you won't see the gladiator ads, but it's otherwise the same. This fight at one point had a dark scale Taskmaster ad that you can still see in the model list of the Dungeon Journal, but he's been removed from all versions of the fight. So that's Harjitan. He drops tier gloves, and his fight is available in the first wing of Alfar that's open now, so if you need gloves, go kill him on as many difficulties as you can muster. Thanks for watching! Stay tuned for more Tomb of Sargeras guides, please consider leaving a like if you liked it, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.